Alright, so this deck right here uh, revolves around the new Legendary Fisherman support cards with Legendary Fisherman 2 who finally came out since Legendary Fisherman 3 came out like a year or two ago uh, without a number 2 ever coming out so you know they're only like a year or two late but that's that's fine because Fisherman 2 is he's decent I guess uh, he can't be he's unaffected by monster effects uh, and you can search out a level 7 water monster from your deck when he's destroyed by your opponent's card effect or battle which would be a lot easier to activate if you could pop it off of destroying it yourself. Uh, I mean, you can ram the monster into your opponents, but whatever. That's like the only way to really search out Legendary Fisherman number 3. Uh, since there's not really a reliable way to search out the other Legendary Fishermen, so I tried out a whole bunch of different versions of the deck in order to uh, search out the Fisherman cards. Oops, that's not one of them. Uh, and I think I kind of settled on this one. This one was probably the most consistent and not super gimmicky like the other two or three versions of it. I didn't save one of them. Uh, and this one just revolves around just kind of bringing out Legendary Ocean, having one other level 5 monster, uh, water monster with a good effect, and then just running more traps than normal and relying heavily on sea stealth attack. Uh, since Sea Stealth Attack is really good, uh, this card essentially gives all of your level 5 or higher water monsters. It counts their original level, so uh, Legendary Ocean doesn't really bother them other than allowing you to normal summon them from your hand uh, a lot easier as level 4 monsters. Uh, it basically gives all of your level 5 or higher water type monsters like a Ally of Justice Cataster effect where at the start of the damage step you can destroy your opponent's monster uh, which is really good. It also has some built-in protection which combos really well with Feast of the Wild level 5's uh, because this card right here it allows you to special summon two level 5 warrior type monsters from your hand or graveyard uh, which is what the Legendary Fisherman cards are but their effects are negated and they can't attack the turn they're brought out uh, which usually is just good for like a good old XYZ summon or even a synchro summon with instant fusion if I have it. Uh, but Sea Stealth Attack allows you to banish a water monster in order to uh, make your spell and trap cards undestroyable for the turn. Which you can also use in order to uh, banish one of the cards with Savage Feast in order for them to actually gain their effect back when they come back to the field. Also, uh, it allows you to activate an Umi from your graveyard. So I can run Kodaris without really worrying about the effect that you can send uh, in order to activate this effect you have to send Umi from your field to the graveyard and then you get to send two cards your opponent controls to the graveyard which is a really good effect since it doesn't destroy them it just sends them there uh, and it's easier to run with Sea Stealth Attack since you can activate Umi from your graveyard when you use it so Sea Stealth Attack uh, was really good when the other couple versions of the deck I only ran like one of them until I really understood what its effect did I didn't really read the last part <laughs> so uh, uh, it, I just decided to base deck around that, and I kind of got off some Legendary Fisherman 3 effects as well.